also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. Ain't a problem. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can... He shouldn't fight back. Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. <coughs> you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe. <coughs> I still have hope that we can come to an equipment. Mr. Morgan? Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with... No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. Hightail favors the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. I don't want to kill this man, but he's shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. I got a shot. You won't get away with this. Think about what you're doing. I got a shot! Open fire! Follow me!
I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard that talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> 